policies and practices that place aggressive children with each other in unstructured settings will only strengthen their defensive processing and aggressive behaviors because that aggressive child toward aggressive child dynamic really synergistically leads to the worst kinds of outcomes, right? But that is the major public policy that we have toward aggressive children in this country. That is what we do. In schools, we track them, whether it's by academic ability, which is a proxy for these behavior problems to some extent, right? or the way we suspend them and place them in special education classes for behavior problem kids, or whatever it is. That's what we do in juvenile detention. It's group intervention, after all. And that's what we do in mental health. It's mostly group psychotherapies or group residential treatment programs. Right? Place them with each other. It doesn't seem to work. There were two policies and practices that encourage a child to confirm this hostile worldview that they're rapidly developing when only deep in defensive processing and fail. How do we do that? Interview kids and ask them. Zero tolerance is perceived by children to be a pretty darn <coughs> hostile kind of event directed toward them and perpetuating grow defensive processing. School expulsions, rejections from the community, revengeful kinds of uh, uh, responses. And then third, policies that provide consequences for misbehavior while not allowing the child to perpetuate this worldview are more likely to succeed. Right? As rules with opportunity for regaining status. You screwed up, but you're not permanently a problem. Right? You can regain your status. I think I'm more likely to succeed. All right, I think there are implications for other domains and daily behavior. Similar processes may operate in other realms of life. We all have are buttons that can be pushed that set us off psychophysiologically into these defensive processing ways. So I think it has the potential to apply to marital relations. Pause and think about that. <laughs> Race relations, right? It explains some of the variation, bare variance in um, race, inter-race behavior and race relations. Work environments uh, and even international relations, right? President Bush was creating a lot of activities. Finally, the general message is to resist the pull to become defensive and process anymore. Resist it, resist it, resist it. Attend to the positive cues, make positive attributions.